let's just turn this on for a second and make sure te we'll test our fences we'll sacrifice our body to test the fences and make sure they're actually alive ow okay they're working Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 19. We are now on build 178. Um, just some minor changes Fun Pimps made. They made some changes to the water depth transparency. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to check that out. Uh, changed improved low quality water transparency waves and smoothness. And then a bunch of fixes with things like spears flying and aiming the weapon and that sort of thing. So nothing super, super major. Um, and so we should be fine uh, continuing with this save. So welcome, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, and uh, it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't take any effort, and it does help the channel. If you don't like what you see, please consider leaving a constructive comment and a factual one and help me to improve. Uh, just just one real quick note on that, guys. If you, if you watch anybody's YouTube video, whether it's mine or somebody else's, and you give them a thumbs down, why don't you take a few moments and explain in the comments why you did that, you know, and help them to know, you know, what, you know, why you didn't like the video. Because um, maybe then they really can potentially do things better next time. Okay, so just just something to think about. Okay, enough about that. Let's, um, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to start by fixing the horde base. Um, now, if you watched the end of the last episode, you, you probably saw that towards the end there, I put a little note in there indicating that um, to fix the issue, all we needed to do was actually tear down uh, the two columns that were close to my site. It's actually even simpler than that because you know, I got to thinking about it a little bit more. So let's grab a little bit of coffee here. Um, yeah, and let's just go down. We really, all we really need to do is just bust out the two bottom blocks on that pathway. And then, you know, maybe cover things up a little bit with some uh, with some plates, and we're good to go. Uh, we don't even have to tear down the columns. So let's start by putting in, um, or rather, putting that wall back in place. And where is my nail gun? Let's get the nail gun here. Okay, I've repaired everything else, too. Um, I just haven't made the made the made the changes to the this yet so yeah this is actually quite going to be quite simple oh i guess i didn't repair everything so we want to repair that and oh shoot i guess i need i need some scrap iron dog on it all right let me go run and grab some scrap iron real quick okay so those are upgraded Make sure everything along here is repaired. I think we're good up to that point there. I saw something else. Oh, there we go. All right, and then let's also come back over here and repair all of that. I do need to replace my fence posts in here, of course. Um, looks like I've repaired the hatches, so those should be in good shape. Let's take a look at something over here really quick, too. This is all just really minor splash damage from the explosives. One of you guys mentioned to me in the comments, um, said something about using pipe bombs because they do less damage to the blocks. Yeah, they do, but they also do less damage to the zombies. And grenades don't do that a significant amount of damage to the block so we will continue using grenades for sure um as you know moving forward because the horde's tougher so we need more oomph to to take them out okay so i just want to see are all these fence posts still in place they looks like they probably are uh yep okay so that's good so we only need to replace the fence posts on that on the one side so let's actually, let's do that now before I make uh, the changes that I'm going to make, because then it's done. Uh, so let me run back and grab some fence posts.
Okay. So, let me make sure I get these lined up correctly. So, the first one is <clears throat> upside down, and then they just alternate every other block. Okay. So, that means that we want to... This one here, whoops, like so, and then we're going to need to, I wonder if we can hit it, whoops, actually here, yeah, let's do this first. Where are they going? That we have the one lone strangler or strangler. Straggler. A <laughs> strangler. There. Oh, here they come. Okay, let's just let them go on by here. What we could do though is we can snipe them. Oh, cop. Yikes. I didn't think they would hear that, but apparently they do. Okay. Now let's finish sniping. Edgar's all agitated over there. I think that's all of them. All right. Um, back to this. <laughs> Stupid running hordes. Okay, so let's connect to this guy and see if we can get it over here. Oh, oh shit, I hit the wrong button again. I've been playing a lot of Imperion Galactic Survival, and in that game you use the left mouse button to attach things. So I have to retrain my fingers. The hazards of playing different games. Okay, that worked good. So this one goes on the ground, like so. See, I did it again. <laughs> and then we want to direct connect to here. And, uh, some other comments that you guys made, you talked about maybe, you know, putting the fence post vertically. Or not, ver well, yeah, I, I saw one comment that said put it on, on the roof vertically. And then another one said, put them, um, just attach them to the to the inner wall facing out so they're horizontal. Yeah, that does, that can work, but I, I've seen this game do some weird stuff with the wires when you attach them end to, to, to end instead of horizontally. And so that's kind of why I, I avoided doing it that way. Okay, um, can we get around to... The Jenny from this side, I don't think we're going to be able to. I should have probably not put that block in yet, but that's right. We'll make it work. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to put another ceiling block on, or ceiling fence. So I can't, probably can't quite get to the thing there. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then we attach this one over to this side. Uh, can we get to it from this over here? There we go. Beautiful. Beautissimus. So, so far, 
all of our lines are running in the right direction. Yep, that one goes there. That one goes there, that one goes there. Okay, and then now we want to do another bottom one. Can we hit that? Uh, nope, not quite. Okay, well, we'll attach this one first. That goes there. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't think I made enough fence posts. Damn it. Let's go make another one. Okay, let's get this connected first, though. Just so I don't forget, I think it's done. I need to remember to repair this, too. I think that needs to be repaired. Um, can we get all the way over there without breaking the wire? Yikes. Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, so that's connected to the main power, too. Okay, so we need two more fence posts. Let's do this one first. So this is an, another ceiling fence post. And we'll hit that. Get up there. Okay, and then let's do the, the Ginny. Come on, get up there. Beautiful. Okay, so we just need one more fence post going across here, and then we'll patch this back up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bust out the two bottom blocks on that side to break the path, and then we should be good. Um, there's, I don't see any reason why that's not going to work. Uh, I guess we'll find out on, on the next Horde Night, though. So let's also see what we need to repair our generator. Uh, nail gun, nail gun. Where is the nail gun? So we need mechanicals and irons parts. Okay. Um, I don't have any more fence posts in here, do I? No. Do not. Okay. So let's go make one more fence post and also get some mechanical parts to repair the generator. And we'll also make sure we get it fueled up too. Okay, let's repair the genie and get her all fueled up. Okay, that's done. Um, now, yeah, we need to lay that last fence post. Okay, let's actually repair the cops bit damage. Didn't hit any of those blocks. Guess that's it. Okay, so <clears throat> let's put this down like so. And we're going to have to connect to it from out here, I think. Where's my wire tool? I already got it on my tour. Okay. And then, finally, we just take this guy over here. And connect him. Might have to get up on some blocks to do that. Unless I can... Yeah, we gotta get up on some blocks. Okay. That should work. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Okay, I think all of these can be closed here. Oops. And those should be fully repaired, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, looking good, looking good. Should be able to close that. And the last part of this little thingamadoodle we're gonna do here, is everything repaired down here, it looks like it, is we're gonna just break, essentially just break out these two bottom blocks. That needs to be repaired too. And then we'll put a couple plates up and then we'll be, we'll be good to go. Oh, we also need to uh, put the, these blocks back in too. Let's do that first. All the wires looking good in here? Yeah, they are. That might be from that cop spit. Well, either that or I just missed it. Um, you know, we could just to add a little more strength to things. We could put some plates up here too. How much concrete do I have? Yeah, we got plenty of concrete. Uh, so let's go ahead and set these to plates. And we want to go on face. Oh, gosh dang it. Cut that out. And I might, you know, if it, w once I come into a little bit more steel, I might go ahead and upgrade at least the entryway of this to steel as well. Just to give it a little more, more strength there. There we go. Okay, now let's come over here and we're going to make a couple of changes. Here by simply just breaking out. Um, actually, I think I want to stand here. Yeah. All right, let's throw back a coffee. And then we're going to bust out these two bottom plates. Okay, so that's done. <clears throat> now, what I think I'm going to do is let's put... Let's put some plates on this side. Um, let's see, what do we want? Went copy rotation there. Wait, what? Oh, here. Which direction is that going? It's going that way. That's what I want. So let's plate that up. I, this is probably completely unnecessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. And we probably, there is a possibility that a copper could come and stand here and spit up towards me. It's not likely, but it's possible. So we should probably fix that too. One thing we could do is, if I ever have to reattach the wires, it would be nice to be able to just get to this from down here. So I think what we'll do is, let's put a plate, uh, let me get that going the other direction. Let's put a plate up there, and maybe right here. But then I think what we'll do is we'll put a hatch. Uh, we'll put a hatch in the middle, so that way we can open up that hatch and get to the generator from down here to reattach wires later on if we have to for repair. Just little, little touch-up repairs here and there. So we want this to uh what if we try an on face? No. How about if we do a copy rotation here? There we go. Now, um I can never remember which side opens on these. 
I think it's the side with the the shorter uh, that little short patch so we've got to rotate this so in that case we're gonna to have to just do advanced uh, oh no that's right yeah that's right because it's the handles right there okay that's exactly what we want boom P perfect okay oops okay, let's get this upgraded uh, to at least that level and that should be good I think that'll be good all right Just have one Zikaruski coming. Okay. Never know. Sometimes I've seen them send t um, two different wandering hordes at me in the same day in this game. So, okay. So that that should theoretically work. I mean, because we've completely broken the path, you know, to us, and so the AI should no longer see this as a potential way to get uh, get to us. Um, another comment that was made was that the reason they broke through here instead of through the hatch is because the concrete blocks were weaker than the hatches were. So there, and and if you think about it, that part of what they did was actually pretty smart of the AI to do, um, because you know they they realized, wait a minute, it's going to take us longer to break break through all three of these. 21,000 hit point steel hatches than it is for us to break through these 2,500 or, or actually what's the hit points on these? Um, I think they're actually 5,000, right? Yeah, 5,000. Um, yeah, so so the, it's going to take longer to break through those than it's going to be to break through essentially 10,000 in total hit points here. The thing about it that was weird though is that they didn't see the generator as something that they could break through. So I think all the generator, all the damage on the generator was just, you know, probably like splash damage or, you know, just collateral damage, so to speak. Because, you know, it was halfway down, but it's also only a thousand hit points too. So, you know, that, that almost certainly was just collateral damage. So yeah, I think we're good guys. I think we're good to go. Um, I see no reason why this won't work during the next Horde Night because we've broken that path. Could be wrong, and if I am, you know, then we'll we'll adjust and go from there, but I think we're in good shape. Um, let's just turn this on for a second and make sure te we'll test our fences. We'll sacrifice our body to test the fences and make sure they're actually live. Ow! Okay. They're working. <laughs> they're working. Now, if this works at maximum efficiency, what I think is going to probably happen is that they're going to, you know, they're going to um, break probably the first two fence uh, electric fences and probably the first steel hatch because this steel hatch is too far away for me to reach it from the other end to repair it. But I really doubt that the horde will get any further than that they'll get to the second hatch and by that time you know i'm going to be throwing grenades at them i'm going to be throwing molotovs at them um they're going to still be getting zapped by the fence we're going to be shotgunning them you know in the interim um and yeah i don't i i really would be surprised if they got further than the second hatch for horde 42 now you know it's going to get worse and worse of course as we go and we'll just have to kind of gauge as we do each Horde Night moving forward, we'll just have to kind of gauge how well the base is doing to determine if it's still going to be viable, you know, at the higher levels. So I think uh, I think we're in pretty good shape with this, though, guys. I really do. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this base. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Well, no, actually, I don't want to go that way. Let's go through here. And how's our time doing? Okay, we're getting kind of kind of short on time here. What do we what do we have in the way of questing that needs to be done? We have a turn in here. Um, where is that at? So that's all the way back up to at Trader Jen's sister's place. Um, tier three fetch and clear. Wait a minute, what's that one? Oh, that's this one here. 
business trip. Oh, that's we. That's right. We <laughs> we did that one, and then they just gave it to us again. Oh man, I hate that. I know I complain about it every time, but it really is irritating. Um, well, I suppose we could. There, we could do one of two things. We could either go do our turn in and just see what we get, and then wrap the episode up, or I could go do a speed run of this same place that we've already done, um, and then wrap it up from there. So. I don't know. Let me let me think about it, and I'll let you guys know in a second. All right, guys, let's just go ahead and do a time lapse here of uh, Business Trip 01. Uh, a couple things, though, before we get started with that. Uh, I did want to show you that I found this, uh, or actually, I think I bought this meat stew recipe. I either bought it or I found it. I can't remember um, at some point, and I just was saving it to show you guys on camera that we got that. Um, and we also have two points to spend. <clears throat> so I've been kind of waffling back and forth between perception and agility i've really been enjoying using the magnum um and even the you know the silence pistols is kind of fun too uh so we have two points so i could i could pop that into agility five and then get gunslinger up one more point i think i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna go back to perception and keep building this up because i would like to have demolitions expert three uh, for the next horde night, but we don't have to do this immediately. So yeah, let's go. Let's just go ahead and do the the agility uh, So we'll bump that up to five and gunslinger up to three. Okay, so this gives us um, What's this give us you can keep most of little up craft quality four good handguns that doesn't matter so much a uh, deal 30% more damage 15% faster fire rate and reload 20% faster critical damage five successive hits in a short time cause crit damage. Okay, that's pretty good so that that'll uh, boost us up a little bit more on that. We got a few things here in the bike that we're going to also take uh, to Tr Trader Hugh when we do our turn in um, and, and sell those. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's it, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, there is one other thing I wanted to tell you. I decided to remove the second AK on my tool bar. I'm just not using them. I don't really need to with the shotgun, but I, I'll we'll keep our best AK on there too. So we still have it, you know, if we need it, but. Um, yeah, I just didn't think there was any reason for us to continue carrying two AKs around. So that freed us up a slot, uh, as well. Okay, let's, um, let's go. Wow, look at that. Re uh, reload rifles 10% faster. Very nice. Oh, awesome. We finished the whole sniper tree. That's ah, a beautiful thing. Let's take a look and see what we get for that again. Uh, we want to go here. And um, is it on the next page? Oh, it is. Okay. So you can craft a ghillie suit and bulk craft 762, all 762 uh, ammo. Okay. That's cool. You know, I tried the ghillie suit in our uh, wasteland series playthrough and I wasn't really all that impressed with it to be honest uh, and that was with a full agility build and full stealth and everything so I don't know if we'll be doing that but it is you know it is nice that we can craft that stuff in bulk now so we'll definitely take advantage of that um, I didn't mention this either specifically when we started this but I'm not looting everything this is just gonna just a fast run through okay let's continue on with the time lapse here
I hate this fucking place. Let's see what we got. Nice. Purple robotic sledge. I'll take that stuff. Steel shovel, yellow, paper, ammo, and medical. Don't care about that. All right, yeah, guys, uh, we're not going to make it to the trader, of course. It's almost nighttime, so I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. I'm going to go back to the base, uh, get my leg fixed up, take an antibiotic, do some inventory management, and then um, I'm not sure if I'll start the next episode during the nighttime or if we'll just wait for the morning and then start and then go do, do the turn-in because we have two turn-ins now, and we want to do those because they're taking up two slots in our inventory. And then we'll figure out what the next step is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.